Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to, how to use SPSS to generate descriptive statistics describing the central tendency and variability of a continuous variable. Uh, you'll notice that I have SPSS open and I have uh, opened the data from the General Social Survey in 2006, which was a survey of several thousand American adults, um, uh, asking them questions about their thoughts on social issues. Um, in particular today we're going to be looking at the age variable which is obviously an interval scale variable that we'll treat as continuous. Now to generate descriptive statistics for this variable you would come up here to the analyze drop down list then to select descriptive statistics and there are a number of ways to generate these descriptive statistics. I'll start off with the first one of frequencies. Select frequencies and identify the variable that you're interested in. In this case we're looking at age of respondent. You can tell that it is a continuous variable because it has this little ruler icon next to it. The other variables, which are uh, discrete variables, are indicated as such by the uh, ball icon to the left of it here that indicates that every value of the variable is discrete. So we're going to select age of respondent. We can drag it over here. We could also use the arrow button or simply double clicked it. Uh, we come over here to select statistics and now you can see that you can select the specific statistics you would like to see for central tendency for dispersion or variability, and then also some percentiles that we might like to see. So I'm going to select the mean, the median, and the mode as measures of central tendency that I would like to see. I'd also like to select the quartiles, and perhaps also define a specific percentile that I might like to see, and add that to the list of uh, percentiles that I'd like. And dispersion, I can also select any of these, but I'm going to select the standard deviation for the age and the range of the age. Select continue to come out to the main dialog and press OK to generate an SPSS output window where the commands that you requested are shown and the resulting output is listed in a convenient table with the name of the variable at the top of the table. We selected age of respondent. This descriptives are preceded by the number of valid responses to this variable which were 4,492 with 18 values missing. And then in, in the order we requested the mean, the median, and the mode of the age the standard deviation of the age, the range of age, and the specific percentiles including the first, second, and third quantiles that were requested, and the 60th percentile. You didn't see the uh, selection for the IQR, which you would have to do manually in this case as the 75th percentile minus the 25th percentile to calculate the IQR. Another very quick and easy way to generate um, most of these same numbers is to come up here to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and select this time Descriptives. Again, we can select the age of respondent variable and come over here to options to specify the variables that we would like to see. And pre-selected are the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum, and the maximum, and I'm also going to select the range. You'll notice in this output, the median is not available and not provided to us in this output, so we would have to use that first method in order to calculate the median. But the range, the minimum, the maximum, the mean, and the standard deviation of the age of respondent are given through this method. A third way to calculate these descriptive statistics and do some more exploration is by using the explore option. Come up here to descriptive statistics and explore. Again, select out the variable we wish and that is age of respondent. We'll put that in the list of dependent variables. You can come over here now and select statistics but that doesn't give you too many helpful options at this point. It simply says whether you want the descriptive statistics, and we do. So we can just cancel out of that, and we can simply select OK. The output window comes up, shows the commands that we requested, and it begins by showing us the same number of valid responses, 4,492 responses to this question, and then gives us a much more extensive table of descriptive statistics with the mean of 47.14, the median down here at 46, the standard deviation at 16.89, the range at 71, the interquartile range is calculated for us at 25. So were you to require these statistics in response to say a homework question or for a report, you can easily capture this table by just selecting it in the output window. You can see that it's selected by the appearance of the red arrow and simply right click in the window and come down to copy. You can then go to any word processing program that you might be using, uh, select a page in the appropriate place you'd like to put the table, right click and say paste. And the table now appears in your Word document. And you may add text to appropriately describe it.
as such. One other nice feature of using the explore function in SPSS is that beneath your descriptive statistics is a stem and leaf plot, which gives you some indication of the values of the variables and of their distribution, as well as a box plot, which gives you the variable that you're looking at, age of respondent, and creates a box and whisker plot where the bottom of the whisker is the minimum, the, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. And just as we did with the table, you can also right click on any, select any figure by uh, just clicking on it, as indicated by the red arrow, it is selected. And you can also now right click on it, select copy, go to the word processing program as before, perhaps start a new page, and now insert a figure in the same way that we inserted a table. You can just simply do that by right clicking and pressing paste. One other handy feature of using the explore button, let me close the output window, go back to the main page, I'm going to come back up here to analyze descriptive statistics and explore. We now we had selected the age of respondent as our de dependent variable, but if we would like to see the values of people's age subject to some other variable, let's say their marital status, you can add marital status to the factor list and now press OK. We get a slightly altered version of the same output. So now we still see the number of people that gave a valid response to the age of respondent question, but it is broken out by the number of people who are saying yes, they were not married, so the number of single people who gave a valid response and the number of married people that gave a valid response. You can then see also the descriptive statistics are broken out. So you can see the age of the people who are single, the, sorry, the descriptive statistics for the age of people who are single. So the mean age of single people, the median age of single people, and so on. And then just below it, the mean age for people who are married, the median age for people who are married, and so on. And then below that even is a two stem and leaf plots and a box plot with both categories of the factor side by side. So you can see that both the, the uh, values of the married variable have people's age represented in a box plot. So the people who are single, uh, the box plot of their ages, and the people who are married, the box plots of their ages. So you can use this explore function, and again, copy and paste exactly as you might the other, the other images, but you can use this explore function to explore continuous variables subject to being in particular categories of discrete variables.